Okay, back the break just now. Right. So when you want to, you have this kind of scenario. Okay. You see all the tab is idle. Okay, you cannot click it. So what to do? You go to your keyboard and then you press the in window button, and then you find out which one you want to choose. For example, you want to go to this one. Okay. Now we have finished the analyze process. Okay. Uh, and then let's say you want to see the uh, that, you know so what to do next so we do the elaboration okay we use different color make it more interesting so we want to elaborate okay so to do the elaboration the design is now translated to independent rtl model so mean that uh, we elaborate our design to an independent model, RTL model. Okay, sorry. So elaboration bring all the associated. And so this is actually explanation that you may use to understand the lab of tasks and then try to elaborate using your own words lah. You do the study, okay, and then prepare your lab report based on your words lah. Okay, elaboration bring all the associated lower level block. Okay, into the design compiler automatically. So this by following the dependency of the instantaneous within the hidden code. Okay. Instead of doing analyze and elaborate, you can also do just read for the very long design. Okay, the difference is that you are you have the choice to a design library uh, to place and analyze design when you do analyze. Whereas the read only the default library work is used. Okay. Don't worry about this one. Okay. So we elaborate our design first. File and then elaborate. So this is actually the library. Okay, click. Okay. I think the library name is work. Okay. Because we start from the work library and the multiplier work be available here. Okay. And then you click OK. And then the system will do the analyze. Lah. See the logs. Lah. You can see the log. Okay. Uh, so the analysis process happen. Okay. Okay. You can make it bigger. Okay. To see it clearly. And you can explore this. Okay. Which it will be helpful lah, for you to do the lab report. Okay. And this is the, the command line for elaborate. Okay, the next command line. Elaborate. Okay. All right. Or you can just uh, refer to this lah. Okay. The, the history. And then what's next? So your current design name is multiplier. Okay. Remember, current design name is multiplier. So look at the let me know. Okay. Don't worry about warning. Okay. So viewing your schematic. So you can now view your schematic. Remember, uh, design compiler. Okay. Will synthesize our design. Our very log code. Okay. It will do the synthesis process, and then after synthesis, we should be able to see the uh, netlist lah to synthesize netlist. Okay. You can view the schematic. So you should notice your full header and your half header. Okay, that is uh, that it depends on is now loaded into your design compiler. The logical hierarchy is shown. Okay, to see it, you just follow this step. You go to logical hierarchy. This is logical hierarchy. You click on this one. Our design name is multiplier, remember? Okay. And then um, you click on, right click on and on this one. We right click on this one and click schematic view. And you should be able to see the schematic. Okay, you can make it bigger as well, okay, to see what is actually the schematic. Okay, this is the schematic. So you can compare it with 
the one that we discussed here in your design or not in this lab I think different lab the other lab lab A yeah. ah, this one okay same right same as so we have four input and one output four input okay four input and one output so in zero eight bit in one eight bit and out is 16 uh, because of multiplier uh. okay okay what's to do next you can minimize okay or you can adjust it here to see it clearly okay then go to the lab manual so always refer to the lab manual uh, so that you will not um, miss the step once you miss the step your lab will, might not give you the expect, expected output okay okay we have clicked on it under the logical hierarchy yeah okay then we need to do the uniquify so what is uniquify uh, please explore this and then explain in your report so did, then from the menu file menu on hierarchy okay click uniquify and hierarchy so this is a bit uh, um trivial task whereby most of the student not most uh, some of the student uh, miss this step so you click on hierarchy you click on this first group oh, okay we try again huh? sometime we need to refresh the window okay just be patient for the system to reconnect And try again. Hopefully, we success. Okay. okay. And then go to hierarchy. And then unify. And then hierarchy or set. You go back here. Uh, hierarchy. Hierarchy unify and hierarchy. Unify and hierarchy. And then the cell name is. Okay. Multi layer. Okay. Cell reference name is multiplier because its name here is multiplier. Okay, so to double check, you go to the back to the manual and see the stack. Oh, it's not mentioned here. Okay, but I think it's multiplier. Let's try. Okay, make sure the name is the same as this one, multiplier. And then you click apply. So it cannot find design. If this is this is the case, don't proceed. Eh? So what you need to find, you can sell it first. You double click inside this. Okay. Okay, you zoom it to see what is actually the actually the design name that the system label. Okay. Um, I think we can zoom it. Yeah. Okay. Keep it go. We should be able to see this. It's okay. Use this. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the name actually. We can use new fire. Mile underscore 13. So that's actually the actual name. So mile underscore 13. You go back to hierarchy, unify hierarchy. So always check lah. here the log file and also the operation. So mile underscore 13. And then try to play it again. And then now it's okay. Okay. And then you click. Okay, right. So what's next? Okay, yeah. In this case, my underscore fifteen lah. Okay. 
after you finish that it will give you actually the the diagram of the synthesized uh, file okay go back to this one so this is actually the synthesized uh, multiplier just zoom full uh, okay zoom full so this is actually the multiplier okay with the registers lah, all the registers maybe we can zoom a bit to see uh, here are the register you can explore it okay so all together you can count how many register uh, sorry register okay then you can check the interconnection lah, okay out 11 until out i believe until out 15 okay you can check it okay size of 16 bit okay 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 right so what's next so next we will set the clock okay we need to set the constraint to our design so one of the constraint is actually the clock okay how do we set the clock so we can uh, use another method using the what we call as the command line base on the dve to go back to our dve we can type here okay to set the clock okay try to understand okay what's actually happened here so just read the instruction if your design doesn't have a clock okay follow this step if your design does have a clock skip this step and go to the next step which is step b okay if your design does have a clock pin follow this step okay okay so we supply that we create the clock Can copy this one but try to understand lah, or the best way you type okay you can learn something lah. so create block and so on but to explain the operation here i just copy and paste lah. okay and then you enter so what does it mean the clock period the the the, uh, the, the signal name is clock okay and the period is 40 Okay, and this is actually the time scale the, uh, of the clock, and then you enter. You see, it's rec it recognized. Okay, the great clock, and so on. Okay, and then we set the delay. Okay, latency delay. What is latency delay? Clock latency delay is actually um, the delay inside the clock signal. Lah. Okay the clock latency we will learn this in our uh, next lecture okay in the meantime you can explore it as well huh? because you will be writing the report okay and then once we set the clock delay means that the delay inside the clock okay due to the wiring and so on okay or what we call as a clock skew okay remember clock skew Okay, this is 0 0.3 nanosecond. Then we set up another other constraint on the input and output pin. So input and output pin itself also got its own constraint. Okay. Okay, so set the input and output pin. We do this at the command line. Sorry. Ouch. Okay. okay. And then we paste it here. Yeah. Okay. Then you enter. Now it's required. Then, <clears throat> so what is actually input delay? Input delay will assume your design is driven by the slowest D flip flop in the AMI 0 0.5 library. The DFF has a clock to Q. Uh, this you will learn in the lecture. Clock to Q. Delay of 1.75. Okay. From clock to Q. Maybe we can sketch something. 
This is okay. Your clock C L K, and then this is your Q of your pre clock, and then delay from here to here clock to Q. Okay, maybe use different color clock to Q. Oh, this color is not clear clock to Q. Okay, delay between this. Okay. So we move on. Okay, we set the input delay. We did, I think. Okay, two input delay, two nanosecond. Okay, and then we set the output delay as well. Okay, then enter. Then we set the load equal to 0 0.1. Okay, the following three commands will set realistic load. We give the load to the design. The second and the third command set maximum fan in and fan out of the input and output pin of your design, respectively. Okay, so we give all. And then we enter. See, you see error. Okay, don't copy all like that. You just copy one by one. You always check the command. Enter. Set this one. Enter. And set this one. Enter. Oh, not responding. Too fast. Let's wait, huh? Uh, uh, we setting the fan out load okay equal to eight we wait the system to back to stable again hopefully everything will be okay after a few minutes Okay, while waiting, maybe I can explain to you all. I think we almost done. Yeah, not much lah. Okay. Okay, almost done. Don't skip the the step lah. Okay, still loading. If this persists, you can go to this terminal and reconnect again lah. That's my suggestion lah to save your time. Okay. okay, this means that we have um, to wait uh, for a while for the system to come back to work as normal. Okay, okay, while waiting, maybe I explain to you a bit. So to set overall constraint of our input and output port, type the following command. So we re type report underscore port. Okay, this actually will uh, set overall set of constraint. Okay, and then we can actually evaluate in terms of area and speed of our design. Okay, remember as we discussed in our early lecture. So area, speed, and also power is actually the key parameters that we interested on for this course. So when the design compiler synthesizes your design, it can attempt to minimize the area of your design and sacrifice speed. See, we cannot get both at the same time, okay, speed and area. There is a, always a trade-off, okay, between the area and speed, okay. Why? Yeah, because the speed is related to area, actually, the placement of the, um, um clocking resources closer to the clock source for example and other part clocking resources might not have the same distance and we want to uh occupy, occupy the smaller area uh, that's actually the trade-off 
or you can attempt to maximize the speed of your design by sacrificing area. To ask the design compiler to synthesize it for area from the menu, choose. Uh, so this is actually for area optimized design. We want to optimize it. Okay, we're still having problem. We're still having problem. Uh, let's try to um, reconnect again. But you, you need to remember this lah. In this case lah, it depends on your account. Hopefully we manage to get it. Otherwise, you may proceed on your own lah. Okay, this is just a guidance. Lah. Okay. Mm, close the program. And then we go to the any desk. Okay, we can reconnect them again. Remember the number, I think this one. Okay, double click. And ah, now it's okay. Okay. Then uh, you go to the step that you missed just now, which is this one. Then you paste here and then enter. Okay, we double check, load, fan out, and also report. Okay, you can also see at the what we call um, design mission. Okay, we the command line at the terminal. Okay, same, uh, same as this one. Okay, you go back here, then we type report underscore port. Okay, report. Click again. Oh, we really try to reconnect. If this persists, you go the same thing I mentioned to you, lah. and then you need to reconnect to the terminal. Okay, can okay, I retry? Eh? Also, hang. Okay. Don't worry. Try it again. Okay, double click on this. It connect you back to the software. Okay, you type report underscore port. Okay, report underscore port. Okay, and then you enter. And then if you turn it bigger, you will see all the ports listed here okay you clock input zero until seven you put one until seven reset out zero until 16 okay so what we is not yet setting any okay okay this command will display each input and output port and show the concern that you have set on them so so far uh you need to check lah, okay the concern i think is already inside that is report file okay but the the concern we set here Maybe make it bigger. So we have set it to 0 0.1 just now. It's pin load. Okay. While load, we didn't set it. Okay. Capacitance, connection, and so on. We didn't set it. But this is on the IO load that we set. Lah. Okay. Pin load. Okay. We set equal to 0 0.1. See here. Set the load. Okay. 0 0.1 for all output. And that's why set to all of the output okay then what next so attribute you go to attribute optimize constraint and design constraint so this is actually to optimize in terms of area so go to attribute um optimize constraint and design constraint okay design constraint and then um we set it to zero zero means that we push the compiler to make the, the the area smallest possible and then you click apply then it's recorded and then okay okay you do twice like actually okay also see okay you see it's do twice you did twice and then what's next if you wish the design compiler to optimize the speed clear the mac and then uh fill and then it's press okay so that's for speed lah. okay uh, okay once you're you can play around with that and then uh, see the effect of speed and also the area 
then you, it will be good for you to report in your uh, lab report. Okay, once you have finished specifying all the design constraints from the menu, and then choose design, check your design. At least just to check your design. Lah. Okay, design, check your design. Okay, and then you click OK. So what happened? Don't worry about the warning. Okay. Right, and then okay, it's okay, don't worry. And then what's next? You are now ready to have the design compiler synthesis synthesize your design using standard cell library. Now we going to synthesize it using the standard cell library. Recall back that the lecture that we have here. From the menu that menu choose design compile design. Now we are ready for uh, use the cell library. Okay, you can ask the synthesizer to use low, medium, or high effort to achieve concern that you have set. The higher the effort, the longer the synthesize process. Lah. That means the time. Lah. If, you design, if your design is larger or large, this could mean several hours or days huh, if you choose a high effort. So for this exercise, medium effort is enough. That should be a default. Huh? It's already set. Huh? Press OK. So then go design, file, uh, design, and then compile design. And then medium, set to medium. Okay. And then uh, we click apply. They will do the process of uh, compiling the design. Okay, finish. Okay. Okay, so optimization complete. Okay, you see the area. So maybe I make it bigger. Now you can see the area. Okay, the area is actually uh, 496.2. Okay, you can explore okay, the area. We set the area maximum. Set the optimization is area. You can change to speed. Okay, you remove the, the area optimization to zero. You can remove it and then you can see the uh, uh, what we call speed optimization. Okay, you can get all this information. Eh? Okay, so now the area is optimized. Okay, and then what's next? Okay, make it bigger so that you can see it clearly. Okay, I think it's inside the instruction. We have done this. Okay. Inspect your results. Once your design uh, complete, from the menu, you can see the uh, reform, uh, the, the schematic. Okay. You go to schematic and new schematic view. You go to the schematic. Okay, make it smaller. And this may make it turn it to bigger to view to schematic. So in this case, you didn't see your 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 design. So what to do is um no no this one thing L key. I think somewhere here. Forgot the step. It's okay, we take five, then I will continue. 